In the last video, we went over the entire Raspberry Pi setup and got videos to work. Now let's go over playlist creation. For that, go to content and setup and playlist. The steps are pretty straightforward actually. Here I'll give the playlist a name. Let's just call it tutorial show. In here, there are three sections, lead in, main playlist and lead out. Lead in is something that will be executed once at the very beginning. Main playlist is something where you can loop and lead out is something that will be executed once at the very end. Now, for example, in lead in, you could have introductions or a countdown timer like, hey, your show is about to begin. Maybe you have other hardware in the show that needs to be turned on. In a future video, I'll show you how exactly a projector needs to be turned on and stuff. So all those aspects that need to happen once before the show is started would go into the lead in. Next, in the main playlist, you'll dump all your shows. Like maybe you have a 30 minute show which is made up of six video files. So you'd add all those six video files in the main playlist. And finally on the lead out, it probably takes care of an outro and turning off all the accessories that you want to turn off. That'll be executed once. That's basically the concept of lead in, lead out and the main playlist. Now before I populate this playlist, let me go to content setup, file manager and videos again and I'll upload a couple of videos so that we have some content for the playlist. Here I'll upload another show, Melikiliki Maka and I'll also upload a three second timer. That'll just act as an intro. Okay, so now that we have some content, let me go back to the playlist that I created. It's again our show tutorial. I'm going to edit it and then add the other two files that I recently added. So here's the three second timer. And now I'm going to move the three second timer into the lead in section because this acts like our introduction. Like, hey, our show is about to start at in five, four, three, two, one sort of thing. Okay. And then I'll add my second show, the Melikliki Maka, as part of the main playlist. That's it. Now, when you execute this playlist, you'll have the timer going, followed by the two shows. And if you loop this around, it's just the two shows that would loop. The timer would not be looping because that's in the lead in section. Here you go. I'll show you a live status of my monitor. From the drop down box, I'll pick the playlist that we just created. And that's it. As you can see, the timer gets going first, followed by our marshmallow show. And I'll just hit next in the essence of time and switch shows. That's it. You can stop. You have all your controls here. Now that we have covered playlists, let's jump into slightly more advanced concepts of nested playlist. This will help you make life easier for future updates. In this example, as you can see, the lead in section has scripts to turn on projectors, scripts to turn on other projectors on the network. There's a delay. In this case, I've just added a five second delay, but it could be anything. Then there's a countdown timer followed by the main playlist. So in real world applications, you might have a bunch of playlists like for Christmas, Halloween, etc. And you might have different playlists for weekdays, weekends, so on and so forth. In this example, let's assume the lead in section is always the same. Like you always need to turn on your projectors. You always need to have a countdown timer. Now imagine you have like seven different playlists and you need to make one little edit to the lead in section. Maybe just increase the delay by a few more seconds because you added a new hardware or add another turn on script for another projector that you just recently added to the show. You would have to jump into all those seven or eight playlists that you have and make those edits. In this example, I'm going to create a playlist called opening sequence and pretty much add in everything I need to do for my lead in section, which is basically the two scripts that I have to turn on the projector, add the delay. So I'm going to do all that in a lead in section, but I'm going to do that as part of another playlist called opening section. Now I'll go back to my show tutorial, delete all the stuff in my lead in and in here I'm going to add a playlist. Rather than adding a video or a script, I'm going to add another playlist, which is our opening sequence playlist. Now what this does is anytime my opening sequence is changed, like I add a new projector or I need to make some minor changes to the delay or anything, all the seven or eight playlists that I have for Christmas, Halloween, all of them get the update by default because you're just changing the opening sequence playlist. You can use similar concepts for lead out as well as the main playlist. Just have all your content in different playlists as group and then use those groups 
in your main show to strategically control changes in the future. So that's an efficient way to handle all your shows moving forward. In the next video, we'll go over creating schedules so that you can schedule shows as you wish. Exact start times, end times, which shows you want to play, how you want to play them, how you want the shows to end. We'll cover all of those details in the next video. I'll just